Hello, my name is Paul from Magna. Now we're going to talk about fire. What do we need for fire to burn? We need three things. We need fuel, we need oxygen, and we need heat. Let's have a look. On the table here, we've got these three things. Now our fuel is the icing sugar on top of the gauze there. The heat is coming from the burner there. Let's just push him into place. Lovely. And uh, the oxygen is in the air all around us. But we're not getting any fire. We're getting a bit of bubbling there. There's a bit of smoke coming through there. And what we're actually doing here is we're just making caramel. We're not actually making fire like we want to. So what we made there was some dodgy caramel, but we didn't get any fire, which was what we wanted. Why? We had the fill, the icing sugar, we had the heat from the burner, we had the oxygen in the air all around us. Why didn't we get any flames? Well, I'm sure you've heard of the Great Fire of London. It began in 1666 in a bakery in a place called Pudding Lane in London. Now, of course, being a bakery, there was loads of flour in the air all around the bakers there, and a load of oxygen getting in and around all those particles, those grains of flour. All it took was a spark to ignite that flour, and whoosh, we got the fire. That's what we need to make happen here. Well, not the great fire of Sheffield, of course, but we need that oxygen getting in and around those particles of icing sugar. So what do we do? Well, my plan was to suck up the icing sugar with a big tube and blow it into the fire. Let's see what happens when we do that. <clears throat> there we have it, the icing sugar flamethrower, the fire triangle in action. We had fuel, we had heat, and we had oxygen. Well, that brings us to the end of this demo. Don't try this at home. Come and check it out at Magna Science Adventure Centre. <laughs>